so she can start eating whatever she wants to eat in the land of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَمَسُّوهَا بِسُوِنْ And don't touch that with evil intention. فَيَعْخُوزَكُمْ عَذَابٌ قَرِيبٌ A punishment soon may befall upon you. So what did they do? They, man, they brought a man among the people and he cut her off, her legs off. And she got killed. So upon that, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came uh, and they were destroyed, all of them. And this punishment was like a big shout, a scream, sayhatan, something that, you know, thunderbolt type of a thing struck them and they were, they were died, all of them. Then there is a story of uh, <coughs> Lut alayhi salam, same thing happened that their, their people were involved in certain uh, fahash act. So the messengers of Allah, the angels, came in the form of human being. First they arrived to uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam in ayat number 69. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ جَاءَتْ رُسُلُنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ بِالْبُشْرَىٰ Our messengers, who were the angels in the shape of men, men came to Ibrahim, قَالُوا <coughs> salama. They knocked at the door and he opened the door and they said salam to him and he he thought they were travelers, so he brought them in. Kala salam, he also said salam to them. Then he went inside quickly and brought a a, a calf which was roasted. Falamma rabisa, he did not delay. Anja al bi haniz, then he went and he cooked very quickly a calf, roasted and brought for them for eating. But they did not touch it, they did not, so he got scared. So he felt fear about them. So they told him, We are the messengers from Allah. We have been sent to the people of Lut. So from there they left and they told that Lut people, who was a distant relative of Ibrahim al-Islam, and his people used to be in a very harsh act of uh, inclination and loving the man instead of leaving the women. <clears throat> so the uh, messengers or these angels told Ibrahim that we are going to destroy and it has been decided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Qamilut will be destroyed. So after they left uh, heading towards the Qamilut, Ibrahim alayhi salam started making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, is there a way out of this thing. So Allah says in the ayat number 86, Ya Ibrahim o Aarid al Haza, O Ibrahim, let it go. <clears throat> Very beautifully Allah told him, let go. Inna hu qadja the command of your Lord has already come. And their punishment will come upon them that will, they will not be able to stop or turn back. So these uh, angels went uh, to Lut alayhi salam and uh, it is historically it is told that when they were staying in the house of Lut alayhi salam, his wife was among the disbelievers, the Prophet Lut's wife. So she went and informed the people of the town <coughs> that uh, we have some young man in the house. So the people came and knocked at the door and says to Lut alayhi salam, hand over these boys to us because they wanted to satisfy their desire. So Lut alayhi salam was very upset. He said, these are my guests, don't do that to them. They said they didn't listen to that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in ayah number 79, 78 His people came rushing to him And before that They used to do the evil deeds So Lut alayhi salam He went out so much to protect these angels who were his guests Qala ya qawmi haulai banati he said to them, look, I have my daughters at home, at home. You take them and abuse them and do whatever you want to do, but do not disgrace me in front of my guests here. <clears throat> so, Wala fi He said, do not humiliate me in front of my guests. 
and he had 11 step brothers yusuf alaihissalam from different mother and he was the youngest one <coughs> but there was another younger brother after him so other brothers did not like that father's attention and love was mostly on this child yusuf so they decided one day let's get rid of him so they tricked father and took yusuf alaihissalam and threw him in a well a caravan was passing by and they picked uh, the child, took him to Egypt, sold them. Those days children used to be sold, so sold for a small amount. The man who bought, he was a minister of the kingdom of Egypt. He brought him and handed over to his wife that take care of this child, raise him good. <clears throat> he grew up as a very, very handsome man and when he was young, she fell in love, the owner of the house, the wife of this man, the wife of Aziz, as used to be called Aziz, fell in love with him. And she tried to take advantage of him by closing the door one day and, you know, having a relationship with him. <clears throat> he saw the signs of Allah and he ran away, opened the door, <clears throat> found out that the husband of this woman was standing at the door. <clears throat> and so she lied. She said he was trying to do something wrong to me and he says she was doing it. So this was a dispute between the blameworthy and the blame person who was being blamed. A person testified from her side, from the family side, look at these signs and when they saw those signs, it became clear that it was her and we will see in the Quran when we read that. I just want to give you a brief description. So, uh, she did not stop. She continued chasing him. Eventually it was decided that it is better to get him out of the house and he was sent to the prison. In prison he told the uh, tabir of the dreams of two men who were there. Eventually <coughs> the king invited him. When he talked to him he found that he was a very intelligent person. He offered him at the uh, com combined advice of both to become the minister, treasury minister. <clears throat> and it was the, um, there was less rain and um, there were not crops enough. So his brothers came to get some food from Egypt. He found out and they did not notice that now he was a minister, he was a big person in Egypt. So anyway, <clears throat> the story continues and we will reach there when we go into details. The surah starts with a use of, well, it has 111 ayahs and inshallah tonight all the surah will be recited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab il mubin. These are the verses of a very clear book. Inna anzalna Quran al arabi and Allah says we have revealed this Quran in the Arabic language. La alakum ta'atilun so maybe you will understand. We are going to mention to you a story which is best of the story. That we have revealed to you this in the Quran. And O oh Prophet, you did not know about this story before. Yusuf had a dream. Yusuf said to his father, he was a child, Ya Abati, O oh my father. Inni I am seeing in my dream Ahada Ashara Kaukaban, there are eleven stars, Vashamsa and the sun, Walkamara and the moon. Rai to whom I am seeing them, they are making sajada to me. <coughs> so if Yaqub salam, his father was a prophet, he realized what the, this dream meant. So he told him, La Ya Bunaya, O oh my son. Do not mention this dream to your brothers because he realized he is seeing 11 numbers there and he has 11 brothers. So there is some relationship in this, in his dream. So he told, don't tell your brothers this dream. They will plant something against you. Inna shaitan alil insani mubin. Shaitan is open enemy to the mankind. <coughs> So his brothers came and they said that to uh, his, their father, send him with us for a picnic, we are going to go out. He resisted, but eventually he sent with them uh, 
in the morning and they went out and started playing around and then eventually what they did they threw him in a well <coughs> so then the story says <coughs> that waja wala kameez hi so they took his shirt out shirt up uh, yusuf shirt while they were throwing him in the well and put some fake blood on it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says bi damin kadhib fake blood on it qala bal sawalat lakum anfusukum amna so father said to them that uh, you have made up this story i don't believe you but fasabrun jamil i'm going to have the patience on that then waja sayyaratun then caravan came fa arsalu waridahum fadla dalwa so they sent their waterman who put his bucket in there which yusuf grabbed and he came up climbing and they hid him <coughs> and brought him to egypt wa sharahu bi saman in bakhs bakhsin darahim ma'duda for a small amount of dirham which is coin there they sold him to somebody there <coughs> So this man who bought, he brought Yusuf alayhi salam to his home and told his wife that وَقَالَ الَّذِي اشْتَرَاهُ مِنْ مِسْرِ الْإِمْرَاتِهِ He said to his wife, أَكْرَمِ مَسْوَاهُ وَاسَانَ يَنْفَانَ Keep him nicely, we, he will benefit us or we will make him our son. So now, وَلَمَّا بَلَاهَا شُدَّهُ Allah says when he grew up, he became a young, strong man, handsome man. Atay na ho hukma wa ilma. We gave him the knowledge and the wisdom of all kinds. <coughs> Then what it said? One day she closed the door. Wa ghala qatil abwaba. She closed the doors. Wa qalat hayla haytalak. And she said, "Come here, oh man, come here." And this is in the room. Qala maazala. I said, "No, may Allah protect me." be ahsana maswaya my master in this house has done so many kind things to me how can i cheat on his wife but she didn't stop that so he ran and she grabbed his shirt and shirt got torn so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says was tabakal baba they ran towards the door wa qaddat qamisuhu min dhurrin she grabbed his shirt which torn from the back وَأَلْفَيَا سَيَّدَهَا They found her husband was standing at the door. <coughs> so she said, what is the payment of one who is trying to do something bad to your wife? He said, she was the one who was doing this to me. But in this suspense, there came a man, Allah called him Shahida Shahidun. There was a person who came and he says, look at the situation. If the thread, وَإِنْكَانَ قَمِسُهُ قُدَّ مِنْ دُبُرِنْ If the shirt is thrown from the front, then he is lying and she is speaking the truth. But if the shirt is thrown from behind, then she is lying. He is running away from her. So, so he found out. The husband found out that it was the fault of the wife that she was trying to take advantage of this young man in the privacy. <clears throat> so she did not stop there. Because the story spread around, she had a lot of friends because she belonged to the upper society. So women started talking that, look at the woman, she is going after his, her slave boy. <clears throat> she said, okay, so she invited them on a dinner and then gave them a knife to hold and she said to him, come out. So he came out and he was so handsome man that these women who were sitting there, they got shocked and they squeezed their hands and cut their hands with the knives but she said look this is the man i fell for and you are blaming me for no reason and i'm not going to let him go so things got worse in the house so eventually yusuf alayhi salam made dua that oh allah prison is better for me than this house so allah's plan was that he was sent to the prison husband also realized that it's time to get him out of the house <clears throat> so he entered the prison wa dakhala mahu sijni fatayan two men entered with him in the prison one of them said that i had a dream that uh, i'm carrying the bread on my head and birds are eating and then the other man said i had a dream that i'm squeezing the the wine uh, from the fruits making the wine <clears throat> so he told them the meaning of the dream he said one of you will get killed 
His body will be thrown outside and the birds will come and eat from his head. And the other man will be freed and he will go and serve his master again. So that's exactly what happened. Then the king had a dream that there were seven skinny cows and there were seven fat cows. And his skinny cows were eating the fat cows. So he told his people that find me the meaning of my dream and they said we don't know. But this slave who had seen and met Yusuf in the prison, he said, I know who can tell you the dream. So he went and got the meaning of the dream. And Yusuf told him that there will be seven years of drought, there will be no rain. Then there will be one year when there will be a lot of rain. And then there will be a lot of uh, rain after that. And then you will return back to the normal conditions. So <clears throat> king decided to make him minister of treasury. So Yusuf became from a slave boy who was thrown in the well as a minister of the treasury of a kingdom, which was a powerful kingdom of Egypt at that time. And he became the keeper of the khazain, the, the treasuries of the, of the land. So then what happened, because of the time I have to make it brief, uh, that his brothers, they also had drought in the Palestine area. And Egypt was the only land where they had done the planning under Yusuf salam that the drought did not impact them. So other people from other lands came to get the food. So his brothers in Palestine, because they were, they did, they were drought also, they didn't have the food. So they came to Egypt to get the food. And Yusuf salam recognized that his brothers are standing in the line to collect the food. <clears throat> so he told through the person, someone, give them enough food, but tell them that if you have, you have a brother, they found out that he has a younger brother who was the actual brother of Yusuf salam. his name was Binyamin. Bring him next time or I will not give you any more food. So next time they convinced the father and they brought the <clears throat> youngest brother. So when they all were leaving, the, someone put in the luggage of the youngest brother the cup, measuring cup of the king. And when they were leaving, the caravan was leaving, <coughs> someone made an announcement by saying that you are, you are thieves, all oh, the people of the caravan, you have stolen something. So they stopped and said, what is missing? They told the king's cup is missing. And so they searched the luggage and found that in the youngest son's or youngest brother's luggage, the cup was hiding there. So Yusuf kept him. And these brothers went back to Egypt without the youngest brother and crying. And father said, first you, will, will, because of you, we lost the oldest son and now we have lost the youngest son. Go back because he was a prophet. He says, go back and ask the, the king there, or the Aziz there, that he should be kind to you, he should return. So, until now, this is the third trip of these brothers. They came back to Egypt, and they met Yusuf salam, and then told him that our father is old, he has become blind, please let your brother go with us. So here was, I'm going to translate a couple of ayahs. He said to them, they did not know, because he was in the kingly dress there and his face was not shown, he was a mask on his face. So they did not know that they were talking to his brother whom they threw in the well. So when they started crying in front of this person, Yusuf, he said to them, Do you know what you did, Ma'falkum, Bi Yusuf what you did to Yusuf and his brother. So they got shocked that how come this king knows about the child our brother we threw in the well. So they got suspicious. They said, Are, inna ka anta Yusuf? Are you the Yusuf? Kala ana Yusuf this is my brother Yusuf. I am Yusuf and this is my brother. So they were shocked, they were surprised. So Yusuf salam gave them his own shirt. And he says, take this shirt and put on the face of father. He has become blind and now he will get his vision back. So Quran, these are all in the ayat. I'm, just, I'm not telling the historical things, but translation of the ayat. I'm not reading the ayat because of the time. 
so they went back and uh, when they were uh, before they arrived um, father yakub alayhi salam said i smell yusuf and this you have gone crazy you are smelling yusuf he was dead many many years ago so when they arrived and they put uh, his shirt on his face he became seeing and he said did i tell you what i know you do not know so then they all went back with their families to egypt he invited yus yakub alayhi salam and all the brothers and their families so that is how the bani israel arrived in egypt first time that's how they arrived as guests or you can call them immigrants but later on in the time of the pharaoh they became so powerful they took control of all the a lot of economy there and as a result of that pharaoh became their enemy and he wanted to get rid of them and this story has repeated in many part of the world since all through the history so inshallah i will stop at this time we will be completing surah hud and also complete surah yusuf will be recited tonight may allah subhanahu wa taala give us tawfiq to understand the quran sadaqallahu alazim